uh, unfortunately, tragically, Ray <coughs> Hernandez, who we all knew was Hercules Hernandez passed away in his sleep on March 6th. Uh, it was reported at the time of death that it was heart disease, but for some reason, his passing is never mentioned on TV or even mentioned on the WWE website, which feels like a gross oversight. Uh, any memories of, uh, Hercules? Yeah. Especially from mid South, you know, cowboy brought him in, uh, as a heel. And I think he was, uh, under a Mr. Wrestling two mask back in those days, at least part of the time, uh, Ray was a big, you know, he was all jacked up, strong, fearless. He, he fit rock watches bill very f- comfortably because cowboy knew that, uh, if Ray Fernandez went into a bar, he wasn't going to get his ass whipped. That was a big deal as we've talked about. So, uh, but he was, he, he became, he's really athletic for guys so jacked up. He had flexibility to move around real well. Uh, but was kind of a quiet guy. And I think that's one of the reasons that his, his passing was never over overly discussed is just the fact that that was his profile. He was a very low key guy, but I agree with you, Conrad, uh, we, his, his contributions to the business, uh, should not be erased or forgotten. And I also believe, and I think this may, I don't think it's ever been proven, but my speculation is the reason he died was sleep apnea. He had a heart attack. So as we, those of us that suffer from sleep apnea, uh, that, you know, you, you stop breathing. So your, you, your heart now is in strain trying to get air oxygen. And, uh, and so you hear Reggie white, same deal, poor Reggie white, the great football player died peaceably in his sleep. And then you find out upon further review, uh, Reggie had severe sleep apnea and didn't like to wear his mask. Mm. So I'm just wondering if, if Ray Fernandez, that's his real name, uh, had undiagnosed sleep apnea. I think every wrestler should be required to take a sleep test. I think every wrestler in today's world should be required to take a sleep test. It's the easiest test in the, in the world. You get plugged into some little electrodes that can monitor your heartbeat and, uh, it, and you sleep. That's it. That's it. It's painless. It takes about three or four hours and you get your results back and there's a good chance it could save your life. So I know my life has changed immensely. I didn't sleep worth a damn in WWE because I, and I just contributed it to my schedule and the pressure of my role and, you know, two roles of being the head of talent relations and being uh, the lead announcer on the flagship show. I just figured it was stress. Little did I know I had sleep apnea. So Jan told our GP in Oklahoma, when we moved back to Oklahoma. He said, well, he's the other thing she said, I want to talk to you about is that sometimes at night he quits, he starts breathing. Well, that's, that's kind of serious. That's valuable information. Yeah. So I, within a 24 hours, I was uh, at a sleep clinic getting a sleep test. And hence the story continues that I was diagnosed and I stopped breathing 66 times in an hour. And it was just a matter of time before I was going to be. Oh, Jim Ross, that wrestling guy, he died in his sleep. Good old JR has gone. Well, I didn't want that to happen. So sleep apnea is a big thing and it, it's the same. I, and I would test the women, the same as the men, because it doesn't know any gender identity it happens. It happens. It even happens to children, but I think all the wrestlers, anybody performing for a company at some point should have a sleep test and, uh, and make sure they're healthy. Do it for your family, if nothing else. Do it for your, the people that love you. And don't let something go undiagnosed. It could be so easily corrected. Let's talk about Triple H here. He's got a new book coming out, and uh, it comes out that the ghost writer will be Mark Madden. And this is uh, kind of fun because once upon a time, Mark Madden was all over that lawsuit when the WWF was suing WCW back when WCW was a thing. But when the flare book got torpedoed, Mark Madden saved the day for WWE and they reach out to him here to help with triple H's bodybuilding book. Mark Madden has always been at the center of controversy and he likes it there. He's comfortable there. Another one of your Pittsburgh guys, he's, uh, ruling the airwaves there as, uh, people that I don't know, can become polarized. You know, it, that nobody is lukewarm on Mark Madden. Either they love him or they hate him. Where did you right. land on Mark Madden? 
I, uh, I didn't always agree with what Mark said, it says he still got a hell of, hell of a successful, uh, radio show there in Pittsburgh. Oh yeah. One of the most listened to men in the market, uh, and Mark and I get along great, but uh, like any other, anything else, you know, I, I don't agree with his philosophy on, on everything, but I, I respect his uh, opportunities and his, uh, ability to, to speak his mind and to, t to tell us his opinion. He's a very articulate, intelligent guy. And, uh, he's a student of the game, a lifelong fan. I wouldn't be surprised if the onion was peeled back your father-in-law, the Nate probably cons had a little consultation with triple H about his book mm -hmm. and probably touting the fact that Madden saved Rick's book and he can help you. So because it was a very unique marriage with, with Mark and, uh, and uh, Mark Madden and triple H, but, uh, you know, they, they did a nice book. I didn't read it but it, it, it sold some copies and it was a interesting workout book and things of that nature, bodybuilding, fitness, things of that nature, things that Mark Madden would have very little knowledge of, <laughs> but he read like about me. it. Yeah. Like me, he, but yeah, he researched, he, he researched it. He's a reporter. He's a yeah. journalist. Yeah. He's a real journalist. And so, uh, uh, but you know, Mark was had a little hard, a little bit of Howard Stern type attitude, a little edgy, you know, dances to the beat of his own drum. But I bet Rick in the, and if you, we could, if we look back at it, probably had a little something to do with, uh, vouching for Mark that he would do a great job on this project. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson here to tell you a little more about what adfreeshows.com is all about. Get early ad free access to more than a dozen of your favorite wrestling podcasts every single week, starting at just nine bucks. That's less than 20 cents an episode each month. And yes, you can listen to them all directly through Apple podcasts or your regular podcast apps. How easy is that? Ad free shows also has thousands of hours worth of bonus content and docu-series like title chase, Eric fires back conversations with Conrad and the insiders plus new series like the book with David Crockett, Monday mailbags with Mike Kyoto and Nick Patrick and a whole lot more. And you want to talk about early, you can't get any earlier than listening to the shows live. You can be a part of the live studio audience as we record the podcast. Plus ride shotgun alongside your favorite childhood heroes for live watch alongs, Q and A's and other interactive experiences every single month. Come on now, see for yourself what thousands of other wrestling fans from around the world have discovered that adfreeshows.com is the best value in wrestling. Check it out today. And Hey, when you do the first week is completely free at freeshows.com.